Hello, this is the Slave Master. Today I'm demonstrating a hammer strength machine that's at a, a, that is at East Kentucky Barbell at Alpha, Kentucky. Uh, phone number is 606 478 3200. Okay, now uh, what we're doing, I've already done a couple of sets with a lot of weight. And what we're doing is before you, even before you even do the calf exercise, you always want to, I will put the camera down, stretch your calves. Take them down, stretch them, your toes up, and your heels down. Now, the stand keeps messing up on me. Okay, I've got 20, uh, 45 and 25 on each side, as you can see. Now, when I got my toes straight ahead, I'm pretty, work, I'm pretty much working most of the calf muscles. You understand? So I'm going to put the camera down. You're going to watch me work my calves. Here we go. Take it up. And uh, all the way down. Do you feel it stretch? Take it up. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, we're gonna take a break for a second. For the calf muscle, the calf muscle can be worked out every day, if not every other day. Okay, you understand? About three to four times a week, the muscle. Just have a long stretch. You know what I mean? You do biceps, you got a long way to go and all the way back up. It's a short range muscle. It's not a long range muscle. You understand? So when it comes to your tummy, your neck, and your calves and your forearms, it's best to work them. You can do that from every day to every other day. Okay? Those muscles you really can't hurt. But when it comes to the chest, back and the biceps, your legs, it's best to put a day in between. You understand? It's best to try to work those muscles once to twice a week. Do not do the same muscle three times a week. Okay? Unless, unless you're a beginner, you're starting out with a lot of weight. But when you get up to medium heavy weight, it's best to have two days a week. One to two days a week for that muscle group, okay? If you're gonna make uh, improvements over the years, work when you're doing beginners, the three days a week, a lot of weight, going up to medium and heavy weight, to two days a week, you understand? Always try to take at least two days a week off so the tendons, joints, and your legs, and your arms, everything can have a recuperation time. Does not the blood does not flow through your joints like it does through your muscles. It takes longer from the heel. And if you can, try to take four to five days at the end of each month to let the whole body recuperate. You understand? All right. We're going to the, the last set. We did a calf raise with to, toes pointed ahead. This time we're going to have poles pointed in and calves and, and the heels pointed in, and, and sorry, and the toes pointed out. All right, we're gonna point, uh, point it down till you can see my feet. Hope everybody can see. Toes out, heels in. Take your heels all the way down, back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, you got your toes pointed out and your heels in, that works a different part of the calf muscle. You understand? 
in a, in a few minutes, or in a second, we're going to do where the toes are pointed in and the heel is pointed out. Okay? Now, remember, anytime that you breathe, when you exercise, breathe in through your nose, out your mouth. Always. I have to stress that because you'd be surprised how many people don't know how to breathe when they're doing exercises. I don't care if it's cardio, I don't care if it's weightlifting. A lot of people just don't know how to breathe, to be honest with you. All right, we're going to do the toes pointed in and the heels out. I'm going to try to get where you can see my feet. Heels all the way down before you get them. Back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, you see that little handle right there? I got my hand on. This is for people who's never used this machine before. If it gets word that you're going down with the weight and you can't get it back up, you want to grab a hold of this and pull. Okay, then you put your lever, you got a lever right here, and you lock it in. All right. If anybody Want any advice? Well, there's an exercise video that you want me to show, no matter if it's an exercise from two to five thousand years ago, like the Egyptians and the Romans and the Greeks used to do, or old school from late 18, early 1900s, and up new stuff up to this day. If you want me to demonstrate it, get me on Instagram or YouTube. Um, you can leave my you can leave it on in my email address if you if you wish and uh, it's James dot Justice J A M E S dot J U S T I C E one seventy two at gmail dot com. If you want me to demonstrate an exercise, if you want me to mention your name on my video that you ask me to do this exercise, a certain exercise I will. If you don't want your name mentioned, I won't. All right, um, I've got 37 years of experience. I've been in training for 34 years, and I've done in-home physical therapy 34 years. I'm independent. Now, the people who uh, helped me in my last competition get out to California to uh, compete in the nationals was uh, East Kentucky Barbell. Uh, Cutting me crazy, hair salon at Oakland, Kentucky. Uh, uh, Paco Appliance at the Mouth of Cow Pen, Kathy Newsomman family, and the Hitchcock family. All right. Uh, I want to mention Hebro. He got the Hebro channel. Uh, the people who I talk about, who I watch on uh, Instagram and YouTube, uh, especially YouTube, is uh, Paul Restoration, Laser Creation World. Uh, TRG, I think it's TRG uh, Creation, uh, DIY Creation, and uh, Max Models. Okay, these people and Spectra, they tell the history of figures and company. Some of these uh, people that have these YouTube videos, they tell, uh, they show how to be, how to. Uh, had to make new stuff out of old stuff, uh, just different things like that. All right, um, I'm trying to raise money right now to go to the World Championship back out in California. If anybody wants to make a donation, just get me on that uh, uh, email. Uh, let me know. Uh, you can also send it to uh, James Justice slash Slash Master. 
P.O. Box 97, Harold, Kentucky, 41635. All right. Uh, and remember, no matter what, do not give up your freedom for nothing. Our forefathers died for that freedom. Even the Bible talks about, throughout the Bible, having the freedom and having the mind to choose. Okay? God gave us the mind to choose. You choose. Uh, the government, uh, I don't care if it's John Schwarzenegger, I don't care who it is, they have no right to tell you you have no more right to choose, a mind to choose. And we'll do a video on that today or tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, if it wasn't for our forefathers that died and fought for our freedom, the freedom of choice, freedom of speech, we wouldn't have anything. So, uh, obey God. Take, uh, love Him. He loves you. Work for Him. We wouldn't be here. All right. Love you. Take care. And uh, remember, we're at East Kentucky Barbell. It's a fantastic gym. It's got every piece of equipment that you need for every part of the body. All right. Love you. Take care. Bye.